That's another thing. They they need to work on that. Like, why is there no grocery store so close by? You know? I don't know. I don't know. They just want to like milk. Oh my God, I'm literally gonna get like kicked out for this. Okay. Hey guys. Um. So my name is Lorena. If you're new to my channel, I'm. We both go to University of Michigan. Um, today we're gonna be talking about uh, like Michigan life here at the University of Michigan. I feel like I've said Michigan like five times already. But um, yeah, so I'm here with Marcus. Um, he's an athlete. He. Do you want to talk about yourself a little bit? Um, yeah. So okay, guys. Uh, like she said, I'm an athlete. I am a gymnast. Been doing gymnastics for about, I'd say, 12 years of my life. Made it here to the University of Michigan as an athlete and uh, loving it so far here as a freshman, so. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Marcus.Shears. Um, what else do I have? YouTube? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's my YouTube name? I don't know, but I'll link Marky it below. Mark, at Marky Mark. Yeah, there you go. Marky Mark. M-A-R-K-I-E, Mark. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. So I'm like a pre-med student. I'm also a freshman. Um, and I'm from Arizona. Are you from Michigan? Yeah, I'm from Michigan. I'm like 30 minutes away from campus in New Boston. Okay. Okay, so um, we're just, we're just going to be talking about a few aspects of um, Michigan life to give you guys a good idea of what it's like to live here. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. All right. Okay, so. Um, I know from Arizona, Michigan is like pretty well recognized, but I want to know like how you came into it. Like when you got picked, I don't know how the recruiting system works, but like when you got picked, were you like excited? Was it like a, like a good prospect for you or was it just like, you know what I mean? Like the process? Of yeah. Time? Okay. So it's kind of different for athletes. Uh, for me, um, it's basically kind of like networking and reaching out to coaches. So like uh -huh. I, or the co or the head of my gym is friends with the coach, uh, the head coach of the team here. So, um, just having that bond mm -hmm. and doing the sports for so many years, you know, they kind of like check up on me and stuff like that. And like at um, bigger competitions, I'll see them. So that's kind of scary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big brother, like... Yeah, but like. Uh, when you when you become a graduating senior and stuff like that, that's when they really start you know hitting you up, making sure you're doing stuff if you want to be there and stuff like that, or you hit them up. But yeah. So do you always knew it was gonna be Michigan in the end? Yeah, I've been wanting to go to Michigan since I was like super little, yeah. like really little, uh, because somebody from my gym um, mm -hmm. went to Michigan, and it's not doing great things. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Were there other people that? went to Michigan from your gym? Besides, besides the one that... Yeah, besides you. Yeah, 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 that's what I was saying. Um, so, Stacy, Stacy Irvin from my gym also went to U of M. Okay. And he's, he's dating Simone Biles now. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. So. Alright, that's cool. That's so, yeah. Um, but that was, that's just one person though. That's yeah, like... that, that's it. Just me and him pretty much. From my gym. For me, I chose Michigan because I thought it was pretty well recognized. Um, it's a pretty big school, like a high caliber, I would say. Um, and then there were people in my school that applied here and didn't get in. Mm -hmm. um, so that's like a thing. I think people, most people from Michigan are just kind of like not used to that idea of like, Michigan's actually a pretty good school. Yeah. And it's like pretty well recognized outside of Michigan. Um, so if you're out of state, I wouldn't let that deter you from applying. So, yeah. I know some Even though it is like double intuition, right? Out of state? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Don't remind me. <laughs> I know. It's like double intuition. I know. It's insane. <laughs> like, what the heck? Um, but there are like a couple people I know from, um, from Arizona, actually. I know mm. like two other people from Arizona here that are here in, in Michigan. Just in some school. of your classes or? Yeah. Okay. But, no, actually, no. They're, I know them from, like, outside of class. But still, it doesn't even feel like it's, like, 50% Michigan. It feels like it's 70% in-state and 30% out of state. Or even more. Yeah, I could agree with that. I could agree with that. Because a lot of people are generally, like, if you just ask around generally, a lot of people are, like, oh, yeah, I'm, like, an hour away. Yeah. Like 30 minutes away, and you're, like, oh. They're, like, I'm from here. Yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Where is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um... So that's definitely something that I feel like they should advertise or 
do something about, but give out of state people more incentive to attend here, maybe. I don't like, know. Just to make it easier, yeah. yeah. So, you know, okay. Because I did have a friend who was like super qualified mm. to come here, and like they didn't accept her. Was, like, yeah, they're trying to diversify you... that though, too, though. Like, you don't just want everyone that's the best here and then not having any, like. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of where the athletes come in, I guess. <laughs> no, what? Yeah. Oh my god. From like, from like a grade standpoint, you know, right. most of us don't have the best GPAs. Mm -hmm. Some of us do have great GPAs, but from high school, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, okay, this is a little bit different, but I wanted to know about like the party scene from your end. Party scene from my like I heard, I heard. I <laughs> heard. Sounds so exclusive. But like I heard that there's like athlete only parties. I'd say like uh, any. Mm, generally, you know, teams end up having their own houses, or like they usually break up and they have their own houses. So yeah, I'd say sometimes you, they do have their own parties, mm -hmm. but I'd say. Like here, do you see that? Like in the floors? Like in the floors? Like in the dorms? Um, no, I don't think so. Teams throwing parties in houses, I think that does happen more often. Well, you know, there's like, you, you know how there's like frat row, right? Yeah. There's, Is there like athlete row or something? Kind of, no, I wouldn't say so, but right. kind of. There's like a... Um, like Dewey, on Dewey, there's just a line of houses that are just, yeah, I'd say so primarily. Yeah. It's just interesting. Um, okay. Okay, so, um, okay, I want to talk about, like, <laughs> party scene from my end. No, I guess, like, the rest of the campus, they go to, like, frat parties and stuff, which is definitely an option. There's, like, a good nightlife. Have you been to the clubs? Mm, I have not. I have not been They're to really fast. So I think that's definitely something to think about. Frat parties are just not that. Fun. I don't yeah, they kind of get boring after after a while. Yeah. You're trying to find one that uh, like a frat that's throwing a party, and then they're not throwing a party, and you just keep walking and going miles and miles. I know. <laughs> and you're just like, well, okay, I give up, and then I'm going home. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> in our sport, in gymnastics. Uh, you have to make lineup. Uh, basically, every week we have an inner squad on Friday um, where we show our routines and then um, we get judged by our coaches and then from there they make lineup. So if you get a good enough score, then you'll fall somewhere within the lineup. If you're in the top five or six, then you'd be in the A squad. If you're not in that, you're in the B squad. And then if you're in the A squad, you'd travel basically uh -huh. so basically after the meet on saturday that i have after maize and blue then it will determine who's basically traveling and mm. compete how does that compare how does that compare to like how it was at your gym before but when you when you go to a club gym it's, it's different there's not like a lineup or stuff like that like you just train go to meets <laughs> it's print. no you're fine i feel bad for him oh look who it is Q&A, I guess you could say. It's for class. No. Just for fun. <laughs> it's just for fun. I just I didn't interview Adam, though. Uh, oh, club gyms, you can just go to... You pretty much train, and then you go to meets, and you see how you do. In college, uh, you train, you go to meets, and... It's just more... I guess you could say it's more serious. Yeah. I want to do econ, hopefully. Okay. Yeah. That's my goal. Pre-med students, I don't really feel it. So I'm actually in a living and learning community. So basically we all live in one um, area of campus. Don't really want to specify what, because that's not something I want to release. Because people have not told <laughs> This one area of campus, and we're not very well liked, to be honest with you. I really hope that changes, because I feel like it's very clicky. The people that are inside of the community only like talk to each other. <laughs> Anyways. Um, <clears throat> But the people that I hang out with, at least, like they're not very competitive. I think towards the end, though, once you get to like the end of pre-med track, by that point, everyone who was not super serious about being pre-med students is probably like left by now, or not. They're not taking us like hard courses. Mm -hmm. um, there's like, for example, this class called like P Chem, which is like a form of inorganic chemistry, which I didn't even know existed before coming here. So I just know that there's very like advanced classes that I don't think that like other people would touch if they're really not interested 
and pursuing um, medical school. So I think like other than that though, everyone else is like pursuing such different things um, in campus, which is really refreshing. Like I know some people are pursuing like art um, and like you're pursuing economics, but like not yeah. everyone's pursuing something in STEM, which is phenomenal. It hasn't really hit me yet. I don't know. Of this school? Like academics wise. Yeah, I mean, we are freshmen, but yeah. as you start taking those higher level courses up in like the three, four hundreds, I imagine it's going to get <laughs> it's just stressful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's already kind of stressful, but we'll go <laughs> <Yeah. later. laughs> But I want to know like how the dynamic works, because when we were coming in the elevator, you were like, I don't know where the honors kids live. I don't even, I couldn't yeah. tell you one no. thing about honors. Oh my god. Not wow, thing, but... okay. Yeah, that's fine. So, I don't know. I, I mean, like, honors kids, though, so just so you guys know, um, there's like an underclassman honors um, program and there's like an upperclassman program. The upperclassman program you can do by doing like a thesis, but for the underclassman, you have to apply to it. Um, and during your, your first year or before you get to Michigan, and basically, like, the whole thing is like you get honors written down on your underclassmen resume that doesn't really matter because you're literally an underclassman and most people even draw so it really is just like it's not even worth it what's the benefit of it though being well like when you apply for like let's say summer internships when you're a freshman oh that's the summer, just like okay you can be like oh by the way i'm an honors okay okay but like ultimately in the end like when you get a job after you graduate you can still get honors without being an honor student for the freshman and sophomore year <laughs> So it's really just like a flex. Oh my god, I'm literally gonna alienate so many people from this video. But that's kind of what it seems like to me. Next thing is, okay, I was gonna talk about like, how do you like South Quad? And then how do you go on to like other... Um, Housing places. Yeah. Uh, South Quad specifically, great dining hall, great food. Okay. Amazing. Uh, they switch it up a lot, and some days they really overdo it. Like the winter fast thing they had, them, there was like a there was a ice sculpture and like a ton of stuff. Yes, it was we had this ice sculpture. I was like, what the heck? This they is where my way tuition overboard. is going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. To ice sculptures, it's like what? Hot chocolate. But um, have you ever heard of Mojo? Yeah, because I was there for bridge. I got super tired of the cafeteria food there because it was the same thing every single day. It was, I don't know if you've noticed, but like up here could use a redo of everything because it looks pretty crappy in the halls. Yeah, it was kind of <laughs> yeah. like, it was kinda like, dead. <laughs> it looks like, um, like, I don't know, like, it reminds me of like a prison. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. honestly, like, they're, they're not the first person to say that. Hallways are so, like, narrow, and I was like, I was expecting more for Alice. Yeah, and Alice Lloyd's a little bit more colorful, so. Yeah. yeah. So I live in Cousins, which is close to Alice Lloyd, but it's like very small, um, build thing compared to others. Um, and I go to Mojo all the time. Mm -hmm. So like, that food, like, I see it a lot. Yeah. Like, it's, you know, but it's okay. Um, I would say, like, you just kind of have to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, yeah. there's no way, other way around I already it. did my time. <laughs> oh my god. I okay. did my time. There's some, like, ways of getting food around campus, but they're usually really pricey. Um, like CVS is really really pricey so I understand why people like buy stuff in bulk like I literally bought fiber one brownies I'm literally on, they're so good they are so good they're 70 they're 70 calories I know you're talking about and they're so freaking good um, I'm gonna like leave a picture of them I'm gonna like link them down below I literally got like 70 or 60 or 40 of them that's From a where? very where big range no I just got Amazon and, oh like, Sam's yeah Club okay 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 so it was just like such a deal because I got them for thirteen dollars and I usually pay like six for one box of like five. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, like I'm not good at math. That's like really bad. Um, so I would just like do stuff like that, or um, if you're ha if you have a friend that can drive, then go to like you know Costco. I know there's Costco close by, or like Target, or yeah, I usually go off campus. Yeah, and the prices drop. So yeah. That's another thing, they really need to work on that. Okay. Why is there no grocery stores with like, mm -hmm. They just want to like milk. Oh my god, I'm literally gonna get like kicked out for this. Okay. Um, Alright, that's basically it though. So I, I, we can wrap the video now. Okay. Is there anything else you want to say? 
you good? Uh, oh wait, uh, you can plug in my. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, we can just stuff. we can just redo the intro. Or I'll just like, oh my god, I can just like introduce you, and then I'll put like all your social media on the front. Does that make any sense? Like, I'll I'll put your social media, and be like, you'll see it. Like in text, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, it has to be in text, obviously, but. Uh, <laughs> do it now. Do it now. Just, just be like, my, just my hands. Uh, yeah. follow me on Instagram at Marcus Shears. Um, what else do I have? YouTube? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's my YouTube name? I don't know, but I'll link Marky it below. Mark, at Marky Mark. Yeah, there you go. Marky Mark. M-A-R-K-I-E, Mark. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions um, for either of us, just leave them down below. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Okay, bye. <laughs> Just watch them be like, um, so we saw this video. <laughs> we would like you to take it down. <laughs>